Due to, you know, the pandemic, my kids, day camp, they normally go to, it was closed. I had nobody really to keep my kids. I have to do what I have to do. My husband was finally getting back to work. He makes the bulk of the money, so I had to take off work to take care of my kids. I'm trying to make ends meet, so I need every little bit for me and my household. It's extremely hard. We pray over it, and we leave it in his hands. OK, so this is the website? Yeah, this is it. OK. My husband, Derek, he is an independent meat distributor. Yeah, I got ribeyes, T-bones, fillets. He has worked for other people doing this business, and now he ready to own his own, and he ready to work for himself. That's going to be good for us, the online order. Yeah. Within the last two weeks, we were able to get his business logo. Ooh. The name is Walker's Meats. Oh, my God. It's official, right? He found somebody to do it. They did an awesome job. You know, I'm looking at it, too. It's like this right here. I think of this as a bow tie, kind of like um, oh, yeah. it's as far like a high-end type of feel, too. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the horns illustrate the bull, you know, so <laughs> it's only right. He was able to get the business T-shirts. He got that done. He was able to get his FIN number. Now, from this point, mm -hmm. everything is legitimate. Now. It's legit. Yeah. We were able to do his menus. You got your New York strips, uh, ribeyes. Okay. Well, that's the tomahawk steaks we got. And this is the shipping. You get second day or next day. That's the only way we shipping it. Just grind out hard, just for the beginning, because most businesses fail within the first few years of mm -hmm. them being open. Mm -hmm. So we just got to keep that in mind. Just keep grinding. <laughs> you got seven lives. Yeah, moving on up. We moving on up. <laughs> Let's make that eight. Uh -huh. <laughs> so due to my landlord not paying taxes on her building that we had no idea of, no control over. The sheriffs came and told me and my husband we had 30 days to leave. Now, you got to be careful. So what my mom did was she was generous enough to let me and my husband and my children rent her basement out. So we were staying down here, and we had a really, really bad storm, and the basement got flooded. So, like, everything that was down here, we had to throw out. We had uh, workout equipment, our bed, dresser, clothes, um, tools, weights. Everything was pretty much destroyed. My dad tell this story all the time in church. He lost his job. My mom wasn't working. My brother was the baby, and they didn't have no more milk. He went to the store and was getting ready to steal the milk. And he just heard the spirit say, don't do it. I'll take care of you. He walked out the store, and you know he was crying, and he was walking home like, I don't know what I'm going to do. The baby is hungry. He has one bottle left. God, you need to do something. You have to do something. And he said he went home, and as soon as he walked in the door, there was a knock on the door. And it was the neighbor and just told him, I remember when your wife helped me, so I wanted to help you all. And they gave my dad a book of food stamps, boxes of food, and $60 cash. So he had enough money to go get food, to go get baby milk, and everything else they needed. He waited on God, and God showed up. Trying to see what houses or apartments are for rent right now. And I'm looking in the Indiana area because Chicago is, like, way too high. But they got some nice stuff on here. 
They got some nice houses. Three bedrooms is only like $900 in Dyer, Indiana. Now, three bedroom in Chicago is like $1,200, $1,500. They prices is just ridiculous. And most of the areas is not even like good areas to live in. Like not safe areas. So today, the hubby and I, we're going to get his truck his work truck. He normally would have to rent a truck. It takes a lot of funds out of his pocket that can be in his own pocket. So now he don't have to have those problems anymore. It's all his. My baby. It's my baby. Baby, come on. And it matched my baby. I'm the banker. Always. When we got the money from FII, it definitely felt like our prayers was answered. Mm. Me and my husband sat down and we talked and I said, this is a form of a blessing, you know, that we asked for. We put half of it in the savings account and we said that we using it for this truck. Hi. And the other half was discipline, no shopping, no nails, no hair. <laughs> <laughs> and we put it away, and now we have the full amount to get the truck. The son's baby next level. At the next level. Ah! I'm just taking a quick little test drive. I'm so excited because he's so deserving of it. Um, he loves what he do, and he does it well. Like when I say he's a great salesman, baby. He's a great salesman. <laughs> it's a go. The truck will make a huge difference in our life because it's yours. You don't have to work for nobody else. You work for yourself. All right. All right.